What is going on guys and welcome back to another video with your host as always KMAC time and now if you were like me rocket power was a huge part of your every Saturday morning growing up in the late 90s early 2000s and this show actually ran for four seasons 71 episodes three TV movies and ran from 1999 to 2004 and was one of my all-time favorite shows growing up and just recently I realized that all the episodes all the seasons and all the movies are actually available to watch on Paramount Plus so of course I went back and absolutely binged all of it and I remember the early episodes so well but I don't actually remember the later seasons and the ending of the series all that well so it got me thinking well how did it end so of course like I said I binged all of it and the ending was actually a little darker than I remembered it being and it's kind of sad in a way it's a brand new rocket power movie with a brand new rocket power mom <gasps> grab friends both old and new Sean White. Something borrowed. Here you go, bro. That's wrong. And someone blue. She is not my mom, and she'll never be my mom. I just wish things would go back to normal before Raimundo met Nolani. So as you can tell, this type of episode is a little bit different than the typical, you know, surfing and the problem is that Lars is being an asshole and there's not enough waves to catch. You know, that's not the problem in this episode and the way the series ends. It's kind of a, a deeper problem and we're dealing with a lot of emotions and stuff that we don't really typically see in this series. Now, is there a lot of skating and BMXing and snowboarding thrown in with it? Of course there is. It is rocket power and of course they got to do what they got to do. But this episode, I thought I'd take a little bit of a closer look. It's actually called The Big Day and it came out back in July 2004 as a two-parter then they made it into like a longer cut of a TV movie and premiered it uh, and it's the way that the series ends. Now, if you're not familiar with this, what's happening is Raimundo is, is remarrying because because as you know, the, the mother of Otto and Reggie sadly tragically passed away early on in their childhood. And we didn't actually get a lot of mention of her up until around this era of the show. And we find out that who Raimundo is going to marry is Noelani, who is actually Tito's sister, who is from Hawaii originally. And she was actually friends with Otto and Reggie's real mother back in the day. They're actually best friends. That's how Ray knows them. And we learned that a lot via a flashback. Now, that itself is kind of heavy. You know, he, the kids have to bring on this whole new emotion of having a new mother around. You know, they really have to bring up stir up things about their mother passing away. A lot of that. But also in this episode, we find out that Sean White, the biggest star at the time in snowboarding, skateboarding, and all things action sports, is having a, a basically a talent extreme sports contest and the winner will get to train with him and be part of his team basically and have a real shot at becoming the next big star. But tragically, Otto is caught in this weird place between having to choose to do the competition or go to his father's wedding because Noelani's mother has had some superstitious Hawaiian stuff, you know, typical stuff that they do with the whole ancient Hawaiians. And it's kind of a crazy part of the episode where she thinks that the wedding date is somehow cursed and it's bad for the future of the marriage. So she pushes it back and it happens to land on the exact day of the competition. Now, Otto tries desperately to explain to Raimundo how much this competition Competition means to him, what it can mean for his future, and what it, it's going to mean to him if he cannot go, and that, you know, they should reconsider a, a, any other weekend, any other day of the year type of deal. Sadly, Raimundo kind of just brushes him off and tells him basically to get bent, that he's doing it on that day, that it's what it has to be, and he'll have to understand. So since Raimundo will not listen to Otto, the gang tries to gear up and basically sabotage the wedding into making Noelani's mother try and think that, that that date is going to be somehow wrong, that there's a hurricane inbound, that there's bad luck, there's bad juju, that type of deal. They try and do that. And in the meantime, Nualani actually overhears the kids discussing this and thinks that they do not want her to be their new mother, that they don't like her. They shouldn't want them to be part of the family. And it's kind of a really sad moment when she does this. And she ends up actually calling the wedding off entirely and breaking it off with Raimundo and, and is claims she's going to be going back to Hawaii because the kids aren't ready to have a new mother. 
This, of course, leaves Otto wide open to enter the competition with the gang, and they do so. And it's kind of cool for a moment. You know, they're doing all these competitions. Lars is there, and he ends up making it towards the end as well. It's actually a pretty cool part of the show. Um, some of my favorite scenes from the episode, obviously, are this part where they're shredding it up and the snowboards and all that kind of stuff. It's cool. And Otto's, of course, doing the best because he is the, probably the best. He's the prodigy. He's the star boy of the group. And it's clear that he's going to win this competition. It's coming down to him and like a handful of others and it's looking good in his favor to get this big opportunity to train with Sean White and you know progress his future in the extreme sports world. However, we come back to the rest of the gang finds out that Noah Lani is actually planning to leave Raimundo completely, like I said, and go back to Hawaii, and this bums them out. So of course they rush in, tell Otto what's up, and make him have this giant ultimatum and it's basically the the ending of the you know the journey here is will he choose his future or will he choose his father's happiness and relationship and that's kind of a really rough spot to put a character in when you think about it you know does he want to better himself and his future or does he want his father to be happy and that is a rough situation to be in as a you know 10 year old and uh ends up of course picking his father's happiness he leaves the competition they race to the airport they save the day they tell noelani that they were wrong they feel bad and they do want her to be her their new mother and of course the wedding is saved Finalists, please report to Alien Outpost 1. This will be your final call. Let's go. Well, like I said, did Raimundo cost Otto his one shot at the big time and fulfilling his dreams and becoming, you know, this big extreme sports star hanging out with Sean White and getting to be in magazines and getting to be, you know, a part of the big money that is this, you know, brand. And it's Kind of sad that Otto had to choose between these two things. I mean, his father's happiness, obviously, and family is a huge part of the show, and that's what why he ultimately ends up making that decision. But I feel like there there were ways to, to they could do both. I mean, he did give him you know ultimatum saying that he could have changed the date to any other date in the calendar, any other weekend, and just everything came down to basically take that big opportunity away from Otto. And yes, we do get that final beach scene where everyone's on the beach, you know, they surf into the wedding and they, that's how it ends, ends with them uh, becoming a one big happy family and everything seems to be great. I mean, they're all, you know, big hunky dory family now and everyone loves each other and everything's great. They have a new mother, but did it cost Otto his one shot, you know, to, to, at the big time, you know, the, the series ends. So I guess we'll never know, but to me, it, it, I, I think it did. Now, could he, obviously he's still talented and obviously he's really young. He has a lot of life to live and we'll never know what actually happens after this because like I said, this, the show ended here. But to me, this was actually a pretty big dick move by Raimundo by, you know, not seeing the potential of what was going to happen with Otto. He knew that Otto was going to run through this competition. He runs through all the competitions. He's the best. And, it's, and that's basically what the show revolves around is how great he is. And, and, you know, the other kids are good too, but obviously Otto's the star. And he could saw how much this meant to him and how much this could push him into the, you know, the, the limelight, into the starlight. And uh, to take that away from him was ultimately pretty sad. And honestly, I was kind of just hoping that Otto, when I watched this, Otto would just win the competition and, uh, you know, let Raimundo figure out his own love life and figure it out by himself. But anyway, guys, that's just a quick breakdown of what I was remembering about this. Like I said, it had been quite some time since I had seen the later seasons of Rocket Power and I hadn't remembered the movie ending and I hadn't seen it in a long time, but I'm glad that I did. And I'm glad that um, you guys watched this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, all of the episodes, including the movie, um, is all available on Paramount Plus right now. So if you guys are subscribers to that or want to use a one month free trial to watch all of those, I highly recommend it. This show is so much fun. Yeah, Is it cringy at times with the woogity 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 and the way they talk and stuff and the animation's kind of choppy from time to time? Yes, it is a little dated. But still, I think it holds up. It's one of my all-time favorite cartoons. I loved this show growing up, and I'm so happy I went back and revisited it. 
Let me know what you guys think about Rocket Power down in the comments below. Did you guys watch this as a kid growing up? Were you guys fans of it? Um, I remember that one of my favorite uh, my favorite memories growing up was when the first Rocket Power movie was coming out. I believe it's called like something in New Zealand, big game in New Zealand or something like that. And I remember seeing the the advertisements for that and being so hyped. And I remember it came out on a Saturday uh, Saturday night, and I was just so pumped to watch that as a kid. And uh, one of my favorite memories growing up, you know, having a bowl of cereal in the game boy and then you sit down and watch rocket power movie it was so awesome but anyway guys thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and until next time guys remember that it's always K Mac time somewhere until then guys take it easy and peace